ਸਾਥ ਜਵੇ What's up Stallone fans? Welcome back to the Stallone Kid today. We are talking about Creed 3. First, I want I do want to kind of apologize. I have not been posting as much. I think I posted all this year. I I've been very busy on my main channel, um Cobra Kai Karate. And it's just been a busy year in general, so I'm going to try to start posting at least once a week for now on this channel. It's just been a little difficult. And as far as Tulsa King, um I watched the first four episodes and something happened in my Paramount Plus account so i've not fully watched tulsa king yet so i'm trying to get my my paramount plus account to work again so i can watch it and when i do finish watching that show i'm going to review that as well but anyway today we're talking about something which is a little kind of controversial you could say in the um like the Stallone community you could say if we're talking about creed free um before i even talk about the movie i think i should just address the you could say drama around the movie Um I'm not fully sure what happened 100%. I've heard things, but I don't think nothing's really confirmed what happened, but of course, um Aaron Winkler, I think his name is, he owns the rights to Rocky and he's been a real uh you could say pain in the rear for Stallone for a long time. And um he's a- he actually almost made he actually was the reason why Rocky Balboa never even happened. He he I don't think he wanted it to happen or something. I may be wrong about that, but um anyway, uh I think Stallone wanted to make a Rocky 7, which this is this is crazy. He actually posted the script on his Instagram which he ideas he had for Rocky 7, but they're not letting him do it because they rather focus on Creed. So I think it's a little disrespectful since it's his story. I don't think no one should ha- should be in charge of the Rocky universe besides Rocky himself, Sylvester Stallone. Not these producers who really don't know what they're doing. I think that should all be up with with Stallone. So I'm not sure if Stallone was kicked out or he left. I believe I heard that Stallone left because he didn't want to do work with them anymore. He didn't want to help their new movie because the way they've been treating him. So they just made Creed free of Adam. Or um I also heard someone say that that they wrote a really bad script for Rocky. He did not want to do it. It's all over the place and I of course I do not support these people, but I was still excited for Creed Free, not as a Rocky movie because the first two Creed movies I could say they're Rocky movies. Um I look at those movies more as a Rocky 7 8 than a Creed. Um I went into this movie more of just like this is just a boxing movie. This is just a Donus Creed movie. I didn't go into this like oh Rocky 9 or oh this is a uh, I didn't go I didn't go like that cuz that's not what this is. And that was the movie was. So we're going to talk about that. Um first off spoiler alert if you're not seen the film. Um so if you want to check it out you can. So yeah, I watched this movie about 2 days ago. I watched in Feather. and i went in this movie expecting i don't know what to expect um this is michael b jordan's first time directing uh, we we already know that there's going to be no rocky in it which is a little sad cuz i'd love to see more of rocky but at the same time I, um story wise um just for game about the studio drama for a while story wise um i do like i, I did love the way they end of rocky's character in creed 2 and i think bringing it back would be kind of a mistake but at the same time you don't really make a rocky spin-off or a rocky universe movie without rocky so i'm going to give my first impressions on the movie when i walked out if like this is my impression is if i walked out and someone asked me right then there what do you think of the movie it's a good movie a good box movie not a good rocky movie so we'll just get right into that from the opening scene um where i could just tell this is not a rocky movie or this is i mean of course not a rocky movie but this is not nothing like anything we've seen it feels like just any other movie you'd go in and see there i'm not saying that's a bad thing but as a rocky movie or a rocky universe movie i don't want to go in that and this is the one the biggest thing with this movie michael b jordan you made a good movie you made a good box movie it was good acting really motivational really fun all that was great it missed the rocky spirit which is the most important thing out of any rocky or creed movie and because of that this is the worst in my opinion the worst creed movie we've seen 
because it's missing something very important that rocky spirit it's that spirit you get when you watch a rocky movie that underdog amazing spirit and it's just something that you feel and i felt it even in the newer creed movies yeah they were a little different a little more modern you could say but they still had it and i think because of that was not even just because it's a big part of it but not even just because stallone and rocky's in it it's just because him being involved in this and him and us continuing his story and the music and everything evolved and just the lessons they teach in the movie that's the really important thing i take away from rocky and that's why it was missing this movie and i i enjoyed the movie i thought it was fun i didn't look i don't look at it as a rocky movie and in my opinion this might be the worst rocky movie you could say this movie is is a better movie than rocky 5 i would probably agree you could say it's probably even better than I mean, acting wise and um, scripting wise, it's probably better than you. Some people could say it's better than Rocky Five and Four. They may be right if you're talking about camera work and quality, all stuff like that. But that's not really what I take away from Rocky movies. It's the Rocky spirit and the lessons they teach, and that's what this was missing. And so, but I want to point that out of the way. That was the biggest letdown of the movie. And besides from that, I think the movie was pasted a little weird. I feel like stuff happened really fast. And really out of nowhere so that's something that really bothered me I know it's uh, Michael B. Jordan's first time directing I think he did a great job directing maybe maybe not writing and pasting was done that very well but now I'm gonna now I just want to get away of the Rocky stuff because that's really important now I'm just gonna now I'm just gonna review this movie as I would review any movie um, forgetting about the Rocky stuff which honestly um, in this movie, I, I was going into it again. I, w I was watching it as a, like a sports movie. I didn't go in there seeing like a Rocky movie because that's not what's going to be. And I knew that. But I, I was also worried like these guys own all the rights to Rocky. They can do whatever they want. And, and Stallone has no say in it. They could they could bring up something from Rocky's past and say Rocky did this. And it could be something that's dish that that's nothing like him. They could they could even CGI him in for or whatever. They could do whatever they wanted. It, they, they own the rights. And this is one thing I expect. They did not. They stayed away all the way from the Rocky stuff. I think they mentioned Rocky's name only one time in the movie, which that I can respect because if they started messing around with Rocky's backstory or anything like that, I would have walked out of the feeder. So I'm really happy they didn't mess with that. And you know, I am still very sad what happened. I would like to see Rocky Seven. I think Stallone had good attentions for the universe, but um, this movie was still good. But it, but it missed everything. Like I said in the like I said in the beginning, kind of missed the whole ideal point of a Rocky movie. Um, and beyond from that, um, let's talk about the movie now. Um, so of course the movie follows Adonis Creed. It shows him um, when he was younger. He was friends with this one guy. I think I already forgot his name. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I'm not really good at remembering names. I, I I sometimes forget my name, so it's nothing against the movie. Um, but. And yeah, and then they are involved in some like under underground boxing, and he goes to, and his friend goes to jail. He goes there for a long time, and then we get the present day where uh, you know Adonis is having his last professional fight. He retires. Um, the kid we seen in, in Creed two, she's all grown up, um, and um, and then um, um, Creed's wife, of course, she is still. I think she actually quit um, making music as well in this movie as well. So I'll, it's a lot of retiring in the beginning. And then uh, his friend gets out. He wants to start being a champion. He goes in and he fights. This one guy becomes a heavyweight champion. And then Creed kind of finds out that he kind of betrayed him in a way. And now, and then now he's throwing jabs at him, saying a bunch of bad things about him on TV. And they start having a big fallout. Um, and one thing I want to say, the villain in this movie, um, Jonathan Mayers, some of the greatest acting, uh, acting I've seen in a Rocky movie, some of. He was so good. I mean, so good at being intimidating, so good at, at so good you could feel bad for him, and he was just such a great villain. Loved him, and if they are gonna make a Creed Four, which I still would not really like, because I think like you should just leave the Rocky universe alone, because you you're not the real you're not the real heroes in the story, you know. No one no one would have watched Creed if Rocky was not in it, and now you're kind of just ditching him or ditching the actor. It kind of feels a little schemy, but. If they are to make a Creed 4, I would love to see more of him. Um, but, I mean, I don't know why they wouldn't, because the producers, all they care about is money. So I, I think that's, I think they would do that. But um, anyway, and then one thing happens in the movie um, Adonis Creed's mom dies, which is pretty big, because she has been a character involved in Rocky since Rocky 2. 
or Rocky 1 actually, more of Rocky 2, we saw more of her. And then we saw her a little bit in Rocky 3, I think. And in Creed 1 and 2, she was great. Um, so her dying was a pretty big part of the movie. And it can't, and, it's, and um, yeah, eventually Creed and um, um, and his one friend, the villain, they fight. And I want to talk about the training montage for a while. First off, Victor Drago comes back, the son of Ivan Drago. And I got a little worried, like, oh no, they're bringing him back. Please do not mess up anything with Drago or, or anything. Um, one thing I did not like is how they are kind of just buddies now. You know, Adonis, Creed, and Victor Drago. I'm not saying that they should be a neck and neck to each other, because of course you saw in Creed 2, they respect each other, but I never imagined being like friends, hanging out, and then sparring with each other. Because Victor Drago and Adonis Creed is not like Rocky and Creed. It's not like this little, they fight and they're fine. Like, the, the Adonis, the Creed and the Drago stuff, I think is a little too serious and a little too, like, big with happy with that family and everything for them just to be best friends. Not really best friends, but still like sparring and being there. So it was a little weird how they done that, but it wasn't nothing that bad. Um, the training montage was good, but of course it was still missing something. It was missing that rocky motivation. I was watching, I was motivated, but I didn't get that motivation like I get from the other Rocky movies or even Creed movies. Cause it's missing Rocky. That's the biggest part of this. If you watch the first six Rockies and the two Creeds, and then you watch this movie, you would probably say the same because I think it's, I think it revolves around Stallone, it evolves around the true heart of the story. And this was just misting, especially in the training montage and even the final fight. The final fight was cool. They did a lot of cool stuff, cool stuff with the animation and stuff like that. But it still did not have that, like you could say, Rocky Four final fight. Whereas it just didn't, it just didn't. It's missing that. It's still good, but missing. And then yeah, the movie ends. And like I said, the best thing I could say for this, good movie, not a good Rocky movie. Or I, I'm not gonna call this a Rocky movie. I would call the first six Rockies and the two Creed movies Rocky movies. This is not it. This is just another sports film, which I like sports films. They did a good job making it, but it's missing the most important thing when it comes to Rocky movies. The things that make Rocky what they are and the movies themselves, which I still consider the Creed movie Rocky movies. This, I do not consider it. And out of the free Creed movies, I would watch the first two any day of the week besides this one. That's not a jab at the movie or any of the actors. It's just it's missing what those movies had so yeah um that's what i have to say like like for example the first two movies were powerful movies the third one was just a good movie just misses it so that's what i have to say about creed free um let me know what you guys think about the movie and um let me know what you guys think about the whole situation in general and i'm gonna try to make more videos i'm gonna try to get caught up in tulsa king the moment i can get my account back um i got logged out for some bull crap i don't it was just a bunch of dumb stuff but i'm gonna try to get that back and uh yeah um so yeah there's i want to talk about creed free there it is let me know you guys thought about it and um i think a lot of people just go and watch the movie maybe not the, the biggest rocky fans i think they'll really enjoy themselves they'll say it's the best movie but like the true hardcore rocky fans where the rock movies really changed their life in a lot of way you're gonna go in this movie feeling a little different so that's what i'll say out of a 1 out of 10 for a Rocky movie, I give it a 1 or 2 at most for as good as like a movie in general. Story rise is probably like a 8 or 7.5. That's what I have to say. Let me know how you think about the movies below, and I'll see you guys next time. Always remember, keep punching. Peace.